Today is a living room deep clean and declutter. So I am starting with the ceiling fan, then wiping down walls, then wiping down the furniture. Of course, I've got to clean her toys and all that up first. And then I will be decluttering through her toys and donating some and then putting the rest in a cube organizer and um, organizing that nice and neat. And then, so if you need your motivation, I think today is a good motivation because look how dirty the ceiling fan is. There's lots of dirt and lots of grime. For some reason, this, the living room was filthy. But uh, if you're new here, let me introduce myself. My name is Whitney Gentry. I am 32 and I am a wife and a mom of four kids, all the way ranging from 11 all the way down to one. So we've got 11, eight and five and then one so if you like today's video please don't forget to like and subscribe and also don't forget to leave a comment saying hi so i can get to know you i love talking with my people my followers i love you guys anywho let's get in today's video Yay. Just trying to get everything into a pile so that I can then sort it and then go through and declutter some of her toys and, um, and donate the ones that we do not want and figure out the ones that she actually plays with so that I could put the ones that she likes the most in the bottom of the cube organizer. And she really loves all of her little Coco Melon toys and her Coco Melon babies. But um, as you can see, the two round baskets with the pink are all ones that we're keeping. And the more rectangular one is toys that we are getting rid of. And I kind of went in her room earlier and went ahead and got, went through some of her toy box. So there's a few that weren't in here that you didn't see. But this is how I like to do it. And <laughs> it always works best this way, I think, for me. Don't you need so these are the ones we're keeping and then this goes in her kitchen here see that it goes into her kitchen and then all of this right here is stuff we're donating and getting rid of I try to make sure we do not have too much because she really kids just don't play when there's too much and I'm going through her kitchen stuff as well I feel like we've collected more and um, I try to limit it so that she actually plays with the things that she can see and have. So I'm limiting her to two plates, the pink and the white, and two bowls and two cups, um, and getting rid of uh, the yellow and the blue. So I just feel like white is kind of neutral, you know, and then pink is for her for sure. But I, I try to limit it and keep things the clutter down so that it's easier to clean up and also I feel like children thrive better when there's less things um, and they can see what they even have to even play with and her kitchen is broken on the top <laughs> one of the boys uh, I guess had broken it so um, I'm really wanting to get her a new one soon um, I really love this kitchen uh, so yeah we're just uh, going through everything and wiping everything down. Let's do something we'll regret. 
So I get asked a lot about why I don't have like a lot of decorations and uh, or things on the counters or anything like that. And I have said this before. I I don't know if you know anything about minimal minimalism, if I can say that right. But um, I really like the idea of having the bare minimal and not having. A lot of clutter I can't stand having too much stuff it makes me feel um, uneasy and unhappy and um, just stressed and having more anxiety and I already struggle with depression and anxiety and all that kind of stuff and then kids um, keeping up with kids and then all the toys and all that stuff it's just too much so I like having things simple and easy to wipe down and easy to dust and if you have a lot of whatnots and decorations, it makes it extremely hard to be able to just quickly wipe things down and dust or to wipe down walls or the cabinets or, you know, if you have a lot of surfaces, it, the surfaces always collect objects. So I don't know what it is, but it's just a fact and I cannot stand having too much stuff. So uh, things on the cabinets feel like an eyesore to me, so I try not to have anything out on the cabinets except for my coffee maker and the microwave, which is a necessity. <laughs> but yeah, if you noti notice, I just don't have a lot of decorations or pictures and things like that. That is just how I'm wired. I cannot stand having too much. It starts to make me feel claustrophobic. But yeah, there's something, if you didn't know about me, that is definitely something that is how I am and I can't change it some people are all about the decorations and I'm all about not having the decorations <laughs> Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it Maybe something's missing inside of you Just a bit of sugar to that heart bitter Maybe you taste different Hold up, hold up, baby I can sit beside you While you're going on about your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different So I absolutely love having my leather couch. Boy, was it expensive. And boy, do we regret buying it because it is huge. And then secondly, it, but I do love it being leather. But secondly, it is, it, the kids are already tearing it up. And when you have small children, I recommend not buying expensive things. <laughs> if you can keep from it, I think children just, um, that's just, they're prone to tear things up. So if you can, just keep from it. And I wish we had it because there's already marks and things being torn up. But uh, I also wanted to say that by no means am I um, the best organizer or 
what have you I guess you would say um, like like a lot of people you see on TikTok and things are I am not you know an expert at organizing but I definitely love a good organized home and I am stri striving to be like that so I am trying to learn and to and one thing that I have learned is to have everything have a home whoops I, I was trying to do this one-handed and it kind of just slipped so I learned from my mistake and I just brought my camera stand in after this but yeah I almost spilled that shampoo water everywhere but yeah I I also just learned that everything in your house has to have a home and it works better that way and you also have to really narrow down everything that you have in your house so that everything can have a home so declutter down um, to the bare minimum and then have everything have its place and then when you're done using it you put it back where it goes and I am struggling and I try to teach the children to do this as well along with myself each time I've been giving you the worst Now you wanna stay tonight Pretty how you work hard for me Why forgetting how to talk? Nah, I don't like no humble beats Just go and slice it up Now it's time to marry me And what I do with it So I just wanted to shampoo the carpets like I went over it twice on camera so you see me go over it one time and then I kind of go over it a second time but off camera I actually did it a couple more times uh, I would let it dry a little bit and then I would go over it again uh, so I was pretty busy that day with all the shampooing I just didn't want to put it all on camera because it's so much shampooing and I know that it's probably getting a little boring let me know in the comments um, if it was too much, but um, let me just say my carpets smell so much better. You probably can't tell it. It really doesn't look that different on camera, but it feels and looks so much better in person. So I am so glad that I went and shampooed my carpets. It was a Thursday night when I first saw you Those green eyes caught me Yeah, it was crazy It 
was a Friday night when I first kissed you You struck me like lightning You broke my chains and released me And days turn into nights on the couch in your apartment No, I am not the same Everything has changed Every day 24-7 you call my name And I will come getting to the the toys and then putting them in the cubicle and just kind of organizing them out this really doesn't take me an awful long time and then I just put the cubicle against the wall and things like that and then I'll be doing the clothes but I'm saving you the trouble of watching a bunch of folding clothes let me know in the comments if you like watching folding clothes, but it's not my favorite. Just like it's not my favorite thing to do. It's actually the one thing that I hate doing more than anything on this earth is folding clothes. And there was three baskets full of clothes that I ended up getting done and it, it was a lot. I do have the kids put up their own clothes, especially the older two. Um, but the younger one I do have help him um, but we had so much clothes so I just snapped my fingers with a few med ed editing magic so that you didn't have to watch all of it but I just wanted to add it in because I'm sure you've seen the baskets of clothes on my table so I just figured I would throw it in there because I really needed it done that day as well It's like you're my personal Illuminati I know that some might say that I am just a bad girl But if you treat me right I will be the best girl in this whole world No, I'm not gonna bite I got my hands on your body what you want me to do I can be good or be not in an expert at uh, organization but I'm definitely trying and here is my new uh, fabric softener jug I love it and I love the look of it and I love my laundry room and organization and having a pretty jar for everything so anyway um, <laughs> I'm sorry if you hear children in the back I am a mom <laughs> and they're around me 24 7 so um anyway um yeah i i have lots of laundry stuff to get done <laughs> 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 anyway if you like
like my content, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.